close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, notice where you feel the breath. When you breathe out, notice where you feel it. And ask yourself, is it comfortable? If it's comfortable, stay with that rhythm of breathing. If it's not comfortable, you can change. Make it shorter, longer, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. You can be in charge of the breath, because you want to make a place inside where you can stay at home, where you can feel secure. And it's not going to happen just on its own. You have to put some effort into it. This is the way it is with all good things in life, is it requires effort. The things that come quickly and easily are things that the results of your past efforts. But you don't want to just live off of your old, old merit. You want to be able to create new merit all the time. We tend to think of merit as being generous and observing the precepts, and that's an important part of merit. Because it is a meritorious thing, the fact that we are willing to share our belongings with others, to give up things that we like for the sake of the good of the larger good. And the same with the precepts. The precepts are merit in the sense that you're avoiding harm to yourself, avoiding harm to other people. You're not doing un unskillful things, and you're not trying to get other people to do unskillful things. That's a good influence in this world. But as the Buddha said, the highest form of merit is the merit that comes from meditation, because all other forms of goodness come out of the mind. And if the mind isn't strong and solid within itself, if it isn't clear and sober in itself, then it's bound to do all kinds of unskillful things. And all the good merit that you've done with the outer actions just gets washed away. So you want to focus on the merit that comes from just learning how to be in charge of your own mind in a skillful way. So when you know that something is right, you're able to do it. When you know something is wrong, you're able to stop doing it. This is a, an important ability that many times we overlook. We're too carried away with other things. As the Buddha said, you know, with that precept we have against taking alcohol and other intoxicants. It's bad enough that we, when people take that. But the fact is that we're already intoxicated with our youth, we're intoxicated with our life, we're intoxicated with our sensual pleasures. We don't think we're going to die anytime soon. And so as a result, we let the good things that we could be doing go by and go by, and we, we miss the chance to create as much good as we can. Because this life of ours is very short. Even if you live to be a hundred years, it's, it still feels short at the end of those hundred years. And the question is, what are you going to get out of this life? What are you going to take with you when you go? It comes from the good things you do. And where do the good things come from? They come from the strength that you build up in your mind, this clarity you build in your mind when you're able to be mindful in the present moment. So try to get over your intoxication with the, your little affairs of daily life and the pleasures that you get from this, that, and the other thing. You think about the goodness that you want to develop, the goodness that you want to build, the goodness you want to leave behind in the world, and the goodness you want to take with you. Like we built this monastery here that's a kind of goodness, but it's, it's the rind of the goodness. The real goodness is the goodness that comes from thoughts of generosity and the willingness to act on generosity, thoughts of virtue, the willing to act on those thoughts. And the good qualities of mind that we develop, those things you take with you, that's the, that's the real meat of the goodness. So make sure that you take time every day to ask yourself, how much goodness have I done today? What could I do more? Because that's what's really of worth that you can squeeze out of this human life, which is so short. You want to get as much goodness as you can.